Welcome back Indie Game Fanatics to another Let's Play video of the Artful Escape. This game has really captured me visually with its art style and fantastic audio. Let's get back into this. We're once again back here. Cosmic Lung. And I am now the captain. Welcome back, Captain. I am at your service. I'm not the captain, Zom. I'm quite positive. You are. Where's Lightman? I believe he's removing his belongings from the captain's quarters. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> Where to? Party's over. Lightman's getting ready to leave. Yeah, except he shouldn't. Lightman. Old man. I don't know what to say. Say you'll captain the lung as masterfully as I did. I'm not the captain. You are. They can't put this on me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Trust me when I say I believe you, kid. But also, trust me when I say, you're wrong. I'm not who you think I am. I'm sorry. You're sorry, huh? You're sorry? I just don't want to cause any trouble. Kid, that's the worst thing about you. Can I make a request as former captain? Sure. There's one station to go before you can get back to Calypso. Would you have me in the support slot? Of course I would. I'll pick the stage if you don't mind. Got a feeling I won't be around again. And there's an old friend I want to visit. Aww. You'll get there one day, young blood. Even if you don't want to. Where's that? The end, I guess. Everything okay? <laughs> you know, all things considered, I'm remarkably calm. All right, so we got one more show to put on. Where to? I wonder if these little grassy things have names. It is sold out in my He's opinion. just famous because of his proximity. It's a flash in the pan. Now that everyone likes him, I do. I've apparently sold out. <laughs> it's bizarre. As I look upon myself, I think, who is that strange creature? Well, if it ain't the captain. I didn't mean for this to happen. Doesn't matter if you meant it. It's how it is. How's he taking it? He seems a little spaced out. Ah. Oh. Are you... Am I what? Upset? Been upset for a long time. Kinda hard to reach a crescendo, you know? Is this about you and Lightman? You mean Mark? Been about that for a while. Why do you hide up here? Excuse me? You're this brilliant 
unexplainable creator. I, I don't even understand the medium, right? And I don't know, you seem ashamed of it. Ask me how good I am. How good are you? I'm the greatest that's ever been. It has nothing to do with shame. I'm just uh, plotting my arrival. What is that? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Did you do this? No. Lightman, Lightman wanted to choose the stage. He's going back. Remember, if he can't play perfectly, the Glamour Gorgon's gonna end up uh, killing him. Where to? Oh. I figure out where Lightman is. I'm worried. Yes. Oh, I love right. data. Diabolical. Where is she? There we go. Where's Lightman? He's gone. This is bad. Dreadful, hyper-catastrophic. What's wrong? What's going on? There are no other options. Francis Vendetti must play. Don't be stupid. He's the captain. If he does not play, there is no hope. We'll drift out here forever. I think we should chill, okay? What's so dangerous about this show? Danger level dolphin? Doesn't sound so bad. Francis. Dolphins are the most vicious creatures in the universe. <laughs> True fact. The Hyperion whales like, are... Dolphins are terrible animals. You learn about them. It's not like other stations. It is guarded by the Glamagon. Only Lightman has faced it and lived. And he is not the showman he once was. If the Glamagon is not entertained... No one passes through the station. Not the crew, not the ship, not the crowd. No one. And the performer gets vaporized with a laser. Oof. I might never make it home. You might not even make it to the Glamorgon. That's correct. To get a show with the Glamorgon, you must first impress the tastemaker. Okay. She books the stage. Famously hard to impress. Jungle is filled with wandering musicians who never made the cut. <laughs> Lightman is in danger. We. I know that. Maybe we can stop him. Try and skip the dimension before anyone knows we're here. I can feel it in my antennae. The Glamagon already knows. What a goddamn mess! <laughs> Gotta go. I'll play. Absolutely not. You're good, okay? You might even wail, but the Glamorgon will destroy you, Francis. Francis? I'm afraid this is a moment beyond the measure of Francis Vendetti. There's no Francis Vendetti in the extraordinary. Out there, damn it! They call me the Cheeky! General of the Heavy Metal Light Brigade! And not a single organism can compare to the power in these ten little piglets. <laughs> you believe that? I have to. Now, watch this. Here we go.
gun. Shush now, you little French pastries. Thank you, wonderful crowd, great to be here. Yes, yes, adore me. Oh, thank you. Oh, wonderful crowd, great to be here. I'm getting turbo interference. What's happening down there? I'm engaging with the local riffraff. They worship me, I have bedazzled them. They may have me confused with someone else. I'm engaging with the local riffraff. Artemis. You got eyes on Lightman? Get and get off my desk. Thank you. Sorry about that. Can you get through to him? Nope. Not answering. He won't. He's starting his way up jungle. Same old show, same old song. Ask what the locals thought. Did you little nuggets see Lightman? Delirious. No help at all. Lightman survives this, which he probably won't. I'm gonna fire him into space. God, he'll be halfway to the tastemaker by now. I should hope so. He's the support act. You know, I don't, but I might believe him. First hole and we fell because I wasn't looking. Ah, oh, it's just stunning. Okay, here we go. The glamour gone. It's a new scene. My story begins at Galaxram where we brew milk that transports consumers to a Manchester dance party in September 1987. I'm the General of the Heavy Metal Light Brigade. I am the Cheeky! Before this day ends, I will be stood before the Glamour Gone. And it will say, Encore. Yeah, he's called Lightman. He's already on his way. Oh, here we go. I thought I was going to have to play for them. Oh, there's a bunch of these guys.
one in a moment. Kitten sir to is toy. Likes to bring it up on my desk when he wants to play fetch. I know is not what you're here for. Uh, let's see if we can get this audio adjusted just right. That should be better. Hey, there's Lightman. Zom. Francis, my little humanoid companion. Traveling well? I... What is that? In the distance. Lightman has secured an audition with the Tastemaker. The show is about to begin. What happens now? Up ahead is a listening outpost. They've got many ears on many sounds. Make a show in there. Answer their questions. Play some guitar if you can. The Tastemaker listens to all broadcasts from the listening outposts. We need your name to reach her before you do. Okay. <laughs> oh, I actually missed that jump, though. That was embarrassing. Hey, up there! It's the listening outpost. Lost old Martin! Right in the horns. Crap, uh, sorry. Ah, fine. I heard you staring at the jungle. Place is even. What are you doing up there? I'm the furthermost scout on the frontier. Listening out for the new sounds. They're waiting for you at the outpost. General of the Heavy Metal Light Brigade, welcome to the frontier. We've watched your rise with immense curiosity, marching towards the tastemaker, yes? One boot after the other. Solid. I can <laughs> see your sound playing out well here. I have organized an interview with the public audio zappers. A meet and greet, if it's not too much trouble. Of course. No. Sorry. I could die Just like right now. Tapestry. Okay. We said his name three times and he has appeared. Hyperionites, fresh into the whale zone. Here with us now on Devo and Bitbot, it's the Cheeky! Alright, quick, which one's Devo and which one's Bitbot? Let me know your guesses down below. Thank you, uh, big fan. You're touring out here to impress the Tastemaker. Hoping to get a show booked with the Glamour Gun. If the tastemaker were listening right now, what would you say to her?
I'd say, welcome to the jungle. We've got a trillion questions sent in from across the zaposphere. Think you can handle it? You may have three. So shall it be written. Question one. What are three essentials on your backstage rider? Ooh, that's tough. Got Shasha tea leaves, four miles of fruit roll up, or an ice replica of the La Sigrada Familia. Can't even remember the question though. Something about what? What would you have? Shasha tea leaves. Octopus mixologist, non-negotiable. <laughs> An eerie fortune teller, a flightless bird who smokes a pipe. An octopus mixologist, non-negotiable. And last but not least, we got a hot air balloon, a marble staircase that leads to nowhere, and a hover car with a full tank of gas and no plates. A hover car with a full tank of gas and no plates. Question number two. Ooh, this one's salty. Have you had any companions on the road? Ah, uh, yes, a girl with the memories of a Korean tank commander, Harold Dent, though he's been dead for several years before we met. Moth who was fluent in a dead language. Ah, uh, yes, a girl with the memories of a Korean tank commander. Here's a hard one for you. Question three. Before you were... What was your occupation? Conversationalists of impossible creatures. Conservationist. A zero-gravity architect and a video dome projectionist. A conservationist of impossible creatures. You've been a beach. And... We're clear. The contest winners are outside. All right, everyone, step right up and get your photo. Time for darlings. Incoming message Zipnoid priority. Where is that priority wise? Right near the top. Okay, patch it through. Francis! Sorry about uh, leaving the English way. Wow. <laughs> Had to make my move while the getting was good, you understand? Artemis. Hi, son. Hi. Lightman, what have you done? You've marooned us all. Oh, no, 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 no. Not if we put on a show to remember. And kid, I got exactly one memorable show left in me. Cut up, raging, or devastated. Go with cut Violetta's up. Violetta's gonna cut you up. Don't you worry about Violetta. She's a drag. I'm pretty sure she's a genius. Never mind all that. You mm. and I, we're trailblazers. We're the last gunslingers in town. Gunslingers? Kid, this is our destiny. This isn't about destiny. This is about you. It's about you reaching out to something that's never going to come back and not caring who gets hurt along the way. Violetta deserves better than you. Better than both of us. I'm about to go on stage for the tastemaker. 
My name is... And you listen to me. Tonight, it's my stage. Make sure your set finishes on time. You can let me know how it looks from the stands. I've got no one left to impress. I've got no one left to impress. Well, you save it for the spotlight, Captain. Dang. We're sending a report down the line. Care to sprinkle a few notes over the top? There you go. Now what? That's right. You think she'll like you? Or hurl you into space? I've been hurled into space before. It's barely an inconvenience. <laughs> I can't remember where that's from, but the saying, it's barely an inconvenience, uh, it's quite humorous. How far up are we going? This must be Lightman's audition. Broadcast live from the tastemaker. Hopefully it's not his last stand. Lightman's audition is coming to an end. And? How was it? It was fine. That's it? What does fine mean? I was led to believe... Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'll just have to be even more spectacular than usual. I'm afraid that may not be enough. What? A poor opening act is like a stale hors d'oeuvre, or a terrible kiss it does not bode well for the main affair. Even your most spectacular show may not be enough to sway the tastemaker. There's nothing we can do? Oh, there's some- But it's far too dangerous. I wouldn't suggest it at all. Tell me. A monumental event in waiting, a creature that only appears once every 10,000 years if you can convince it to carry you to the tastemaker. A publicity stunt. There's a village. It's in a cave on the far side of this field. The rest is up to you. And Francis. Yeah? The time in Calypso, 7.04 p.m. on Saturday evening. My show? Crap! I'm on in an hour? I know. Seems almost impossible, doesn't <laughs> it? I must hurry. Uh, hey man, uh, is it cool if I go in? 
Are you sure? It's pretty bleak in there. There's no partying, obviously. It's a no-party zone. Might wake the damn thing up. I'll make sure not to party. No noise of any kind, okay? The flower pods might start dancing. Dancing's how parties start, apparently. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's brilliant. Lightman. Well, he is. Really? We've seen it before, but I thought this time... I thought he might have added a little shrubbery. You know, <laughs> shrubbery? Something fresh? A, a bloom of something strange and new. We are the knights who say knee, and you must bring us a shrubbery. Am I making any sense? The monster. It's zeppelin sized. Oh, you know what I'm about to do. What's up, little dude? Good. I mean, not much. You got any records I could put on to, you know? Are you trying to wake up the monster? I might be. Sorry, my friend. Can't sell records down here no more. Gotta keep real quiet. Don't wake the monster, man. That's the mantra. I'm gonna fix that. Look, I like Lightman, okay? He's royalty. But, I don't know. This time, I wanted a stampede, you know? I wanted to experience something raw and unseen. I wanted to fear for my life. Guy's getting a little loud. The end of the line. Oh, I guess I gotta start playing. Completely wrong and the monster, it's Zeppelin's little dude. You have lit up my afternoon. I am back in business. <laughs> That is not a heavy metal migraine. And I think I kind of love that. Whoa, whoa, I'm considering a new world of musical possibilities. Ah, I have some serious reflection to do. Oh, here we go. Got someone's attention. What in the blazing fudge is going on down here? This place is one funky riff away from catastrophe. Yeah. If anyone goes upstairs and causes a racket, well, I could lose my pension. Oh no, not his pension. Going upstairs to cause a racket. There we go. It's 
What's up, monster? Whoa. <laughs> Where's the party? <gasps> this is my jam. They're playing my jam. What is your name, friend? They call me Floyd. Hello, Floyd. I got a favor to ask you, Floyd. You want to ride on my head, don't you? <laughs> yes, Floyd. I do. <laughs> Floyd gets it. I think the only part of this game that I don't care for is the, um, replay. Where I've actually got to just sit here and play out. Lightman. Lightman. Here we are, young blood, at the gates of Graceland. You've put lives in our hands. Shush now. None of that. Shoulders back, stand up tall. You're... Who are you? I'm... Okay. Oh boy. You've I've met this person way, before. Baby. You? I know you. You're the taste maker? I am. I alone book the stage for the Glamagon, and a more dazzling application I have not seen. I told you. Lightman and. It's an event of celestial enormity. You're eager for judgment, Lightman. Then you shall have it. Oh, it's not good. Lightman, jammer of the Glamagon. When we first met, you were already a beast among slow-moving mammals. You have dared the universe to deny something so frightfully evolved. And in the process, you've become one of the greats. Words that will wander my dreams. And the teenage riot? You look different. I am. 
You are a frightening talent. When I arrange every facet of you in my mind, I can hear you like a chord. And in the wonder of that music, there is something utterly unexpected. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Yet, the chord contains a flaw. Oh, jeez. A dissonant note. Just a whisper of it. You know what it sounds like to me? No? It sounds like folk music, Francis. No! Don't insult my folk oh. music. That's not true. I'm the... Uh -oh. There it is again. Folk, strummed by a ghoul in your mind. Who is he? He's my uncle. He's a legend. Where I come from. What is his name? Francis, I wouldn't. Johnson. Vendetti. 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 Lightman. What cheap trick is this? He's got nothing to do with the old man. He's never even met him. You think you could just enlist another Vendetti? Oh, jeez. But he had tried to work with his uncle. Dress him up and I wouldn't notice. Another Vendetti? What are you talking about? He does not know. He doesn't need to know. It's got nothing to do with him. When Lightman faced the Glamagon, he was not alone. Oh, jeez. Who was... Oh. No. He was supporting Johnson Vendetti. What? What? You knew my uncle? You lied to me. The whole time. You were just trying to bring back Johnson Vendetti. Like all those other folks. Searching in me for some dead man I never met. No, no, that's not true. Maybe I did want to bring him back. But I never asked you to be like him. I never wanted you to be anything other than whatever it is you are. The universe turns, Lightman. Stars die, evolutionary branches rise and fall. Yet you have remained in your singular moment. A legacy act. Oof. And the stage of the Glamagon is reserved for the future, not the past. Francis, the future is yours, if you have the courage to grasp it. But you cannot face the Glamagon with a head full of ghosts. Your application to jam with the Glamagon has been denied. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, kid. You understand one day. No! No! Wait! What the... Oh, back to Calypso. Let's play uh, my act, I guess. My folk music. That can't be the end. God, I forgot what my guy looked like at the beginning. <laughs> Seem like 
Form 23 It really don't seem like that long ago Time goes by so fast It really don't seem like that long ago I still replay the past And if it don't work out You live where you live If it don't work out in the moment, you crash and you burn. And if it don't work out, that's nightmare fuel right there. Drum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life, hold X. You did that? No. Tell him. Called the taste maker. Now, that is strange. No folk music, not a flighty strum. Maybe I was wrong about you, but what will the folks of Calypso make of this new creature? So, what's interesting in this story to me is the fact that they talk about his uncle, Johnson Vendetti, and how Lightman was the opening act for him. I assume back in the day, so maybe Johnson Van Day was originally in Lightman's place, or where he is now, where he was the act. Calypso? Not really sure. Never heard of the place. Maybe you're thinking of someone else. Maybe I am. Where you headed? Hi, Tokyo. We got a visitor here. She'll go to sleep here if I leave her here, but I'm not going to do that to you guys. Love you. I'm busy. There we go. You know where I'm headed. The Glamagon. <sighs> Tokyo. Hey. Let's do this. Tokyo. Anything? Yeah, go up here. Tokyo. No. <laughs> Wait. What is that? It's the strange, fleshy creature. Zom, move the ship around. We're rolling out. Where are we going? It's time for my arrival. Oh, jeez. I kind of want to lay there.
Sorry if I'm a little bit odd angle on the camera. I've got the cat currently in my arms. The glamour gone. Alright guys. We are actually going to call it there. And we will finish this up next time, guys. I think I'm getting close to the end of the story, considering this is the glamour going. Um, so I'm going to assume that things will finish up in the next episode. I don't want to play through the glamour going thing, then end it because we've hit our hour and then end up with just like five minutes of story. So we'll do the uh, what appears to be the final boss. The next one. And then we'll see what's left of the story from there. But I hope you all had a fantastic time. I am absolutely lo in love with this game. Um, it has the kind of what's funny is it's like a platform story game, but it has the uh, choices like the RPG style choices of where as you play through the game, you make choices about your character's background and story as you go. And those carry throughout the game, which is a lot of fun. Um, building up your character, essentially. And seeing that in this type of game is something I've not really seen before. Uh, so I am loving it. But I hope you guys have had a great time, and I will see you again soon.